All right. This proposal seeks, seeks to correct some errors that I have detected. Some of them are longstanding in the PDP as to the procedure for introducing the proposals or versions of uh, the proposals, and it clarifies attributions of the staff uh, and uh, the chairs in that regard. And we are also solving a recurrent problem that I have commented uh, for throughout the years, and it is that uh, although the PDP doesn't say it, it limits uh, some of uh, the length of uh, the field. So, the process uh, that applies to uh, the uh, is not consistent with the PDP, so it's a uh, lack of compliance. And I understand that this is not uh, in bad faith, but as a matter of fact, I think that it is more effective the way it's being done. But we cannot um, uh, ignore the reality how we operate. Either we change the procedure and we accommodate it to the standard, or we change the standard so that it will comply with what is being done in the procedure. The procedure accommodates it, uh, includes a text that says, oh, only uh, the text of the policy will be considered and not its merits. And apparently, it's not very clear which is the job of the staff and the chairs. And that, in many cases, has led to clashes of, as to whether a proposal is acceptable or not. And in the end, it uh, uh, implies more appellations, when uh, more appeals, when uh, clearly we should have a very clear uh, be very clear about our uh, norms because it's what we should have in any law. But because in the end, a norm is uh, nothing but a law. And it speaks of policy. This is a minor issue, but it's also important. We've already had two proposals that have fixed this in another part of the PDP when actually it's a version. So somehow, when we speak of policy and not versions, we would go against the PDP too. We would uh, be, there would be a lack of compliance. And finally, it resolves a recurrent problem. There are some fields that I think that it is the rational and the summary that are very limited. And sometimes there's no space for a couple more uh, phrases so that uh, the proposal may be understood. I'm going to dwell a bit longer in uh, the rationale because then the text of the proposal is very straightforward. The review that the PDP means uh, speaks of is only editorial and uh, trying to uh, improve the understanding of our community. We agree with that, but of course, the idea is that the recommendations by the chairs may be limited to being uh, clarifications. The author may have a clear, a different idea. The importance is that the community should check whether the interpretation is the same as the author. So the chairs or the staff cannot uh, request a correction to uh, a version of a proposal or reject it. The country is a previous censorship, and it is being subjective of just a few against the community that really has to debate the proposal completely. In no cases uh, should the PDP has the PDP attributed to the chairs or the staff the ability, the capacity to decide whether to adopt or to reject the proposal. That would imply previous subjectivity of a few vis-a-vis -vis the community. In the PDP, the the community is sovereign. Only the community can reject a text, and this is what the consensus means. The PDP is and should be very clear as to the attributions of the chairs and the staff, and it, it they only have to do what has been perfectly explicited. If not, we are being subjective that different chairs or different staff should understand the same proposal in different ways. We must understand that any aspect directly or indirectly related with the Internet uh, number resources is under the PDP scope uh, a priori. Of course, if you are to discuss something that has nothing to do, it's not under the PDP. And even if it's not explicit, then the chairs could reject it. I think that's absolutely evident to all of us. In addition, the board has a last step, that is the ratification or lack thereof of the proposals. That is, if 
if something that the community wants to accept is against uh, the uh, interest of the membership of uh, LACNIC, uh, there's a step that could limit it. All that was confirmed by the community itself in 2020 when um, there was uh, three pro different proposals that were debated to incorporate a process prior to the adoption of proposals, and so far the community has rejected it. So if the community rejects a, a prior uh, censorship or, a, a pre uh, or an adoption, I think that uh, it doesn't make sense to have just a few, the chairs and the staff, to limit it. The RIRs are established. Uh, um, through ICP2. And the, yeah, there you have the link. And one of the things that is being debated and will be updated, the document will be updated, partly as a consequence of what has happened in AFNIC, is that we are not just speaking of incorporating a, a, an RAR, but ensuring that it preserves the standards of the bottom up, uh, bottom up process. And any previous censorship precludes that. So what is the text that is proposed? Well, what I did is to your left, you have the current text and uh, uh, to your right in blue, the small changes made as it's short. I'm going to read it. The versions of our proposals must be sent uh, through the year form in uh, the URL such and such. And uh, that uh, can not uh, the system uh, the for, uh, automatically this um, the chairs and LACNIC can um, review and suggest improvements in uh, the wording, but it's only the author who will accept it. The time for review and publication. I put this in blue, but it doesn't change. It's two weeks, and the rest is. Uh, uh, has no changes. The only thing I added is that there is a reason for avoiding the adoption of a, a proposal, and it is when it clearly is not compliant with the code of conduct. That's obvious. There's even no need to include it, but I put it there just in case. So except for Aaron that has a pseudo PDP with, uh, with the AC committee that relegates the authors once uh, the proposal is introduced, and uh, sometimes they have caused problems because they have changed what uh, the authors uh, really wanted to say. It has affected me personally. And the rest of the IRs, uh, the uh, chairs or the staff, are not allowed to uh, conduct a previous uh, censorship. Uh, but it's up to the authors to decide whether to accept uh, the changes proposed by the staff. Of course, uh, each RIR has different procedures, but these are important uh, comments. And I'm going to stop here because there is there's an impact analysis. Uh, well, after Franco presents it, I'll uh, discuss it. Thank you, Franco Cabrera, of uh, the staff of LACNIC, who will present the impact analysis. So let me introduce uh, the impact analysis of the proposal in question as performed by the staff. Right. So, first of all, comments by the staff. The proposal that the fields should have no limits goes against the fact that the community can duly debate the proposals. Today, the limit is 20,000 characters, approximately 10 to 12 pages. We consider that that's more than enough for a proposal that seeks uh, the engagement of the community. We do believe that the chairs should have uh, the power to re uh, revise the uh, proposal, the PDP proposal, so as to ensure that the resource of the community may be focusing the proposals that are relevant, the proposals that are relevant to the PDP. All this is directly or indirectly related with the number of resources for the internet, for instance, uh, uh, routing uh, 
BGP proposals are indirectly related with the number resources, uh, and they're not part of the discussions of the PDP, and the proposals for regulating the price in the secondary market of the IPs should not be part of the PDP because they are directly related. As uh, presented in the comments, we prefer not to issue any recommendations on this proposal. And as to the impact on uh, the registry uh, system and other uh, systems, this was not analyzed. Thank you, Franco. George, would you like to add anything? Yes. Could you go back to my slide? Uh. So, I won't repeat what Franco just said. Precisely, that was the idea to take turns. There are lower limits. I was not men, uh, uh, referring to that of 20,000, but at any rate, we could uh, submit a proposal to re revise the complete section of the manual, and it wouldn't fit, or the entire manual. As a matter of fact, there's a recommendation that says that the entire manual should be uh, uh, revised, uh, all the policies. So that would be eliminating the possibility of uh, that. We, we would have to change the PDP just for that. I think it mu doesn't make sense. I think that the authors are the first interested in uh, trying to keep it as short as possible. But sometimes you may be a couple of lines short. So the decision of whether it's up to the PDP or not, that's up to the community. I, I explained it in the past. I won't insist. And here I put this justifying that some fields are very small. And as a matter of fact, I think that in two of the proposals I present today, I had uh, to juggle to uh, make it understandable or to, to cut it in two, whether it actually it belonged to another box. I think that that's the end. Thank you, Jordi. So now let's start the debate time. We invite you to share your doubts, opinions, or comments uh, about this proposal. And well, as you know, we have two microphones, you can come closer. For those of you who are remotely, you have the Q&A panel in, uh, at the bottom in the uh, Zoom uh, toolbar. Somebody in the staff will uh, read it. Uh, or you can ask for the floor by raising your hands. Uh, you have two minutes for asking a question and two minutes for answering it. We will be... Uh, controlling the time. We have simultaneous uh, translation, so please speak your native language and uh, do it uh, slowly. And please also state who you are and the organization you work for. Arturo Servin, Google. I am 100% against the proposal. The first reason is because we can't debate proposals without uh, uh, a rational. Uh, we can't spend so much time fixing just uh, in material things. Editorial changes is something that we should avoid. All of us here are volunteers. We have very little time to work and try to solve the problems that really affect the region. So be, if we are wasting our time knowing to whether to put a comma here in the PDP is this. Yes, of course, these are things that we have to fix, but they are not so important. Do they lead to any problems? Not really. So the first reason why I'm against is because I refuse to review uh, editorials and proposals that are really not fixing anything. And the second is that this is like micromanagement. That is, it's 10 characters, 20 characters. Well, those are operational things that uh, the staff of LACNI can do perfectly well. They don't need us to come here and sit down for half an hour, 45 minutes to debate something that uh, really, well, we could be uh, using the time for a much better thing. So uh, I'm against this policy, and I hope that people will start considering that uh, uh, perfection is the enemy of uh, uh, what's good. So. Oh, we don't need it to be perfect. We really have to address the things that are really causing problems and uh, uh, just editorial changes. And no, it's uh, we are not speaking of punctuation when uh, you uh, when something is uh, when. Uh, 
a proposal cannot be uh, adopted. I'm going to show some cases. So it's not the people, it's it's not the community, it's the staff and the chairs. The micromanagement, I think you're absolutely right. I have suggested uh, very often the staff that small editorial changes had to be corrected by them and they that what they answered was send a proposal. And as to the editorial changes in other regions, a lot of editorial changes are being made to accommodate that there are uh, wordings that are not consistent in the policy manual. Thomas Lynch, former chair of the Public Policy Forum, I'm against the proposal. I think that chairs have a lot of work to do. They seem like they're doing nothing, just sitting there, but actually they've had to add a devote a lot of time reading emails, proposals, impact assessment to be here. I think that we need to filter proposals. It has nothing to do with the manual, with the policy manual or the PDP. Just indirectly or directly saying that this is associated to resources. I propose RFC 719 and I just submitted as a policy proposal for it to be discussed. I get emails and everyone wonders what is this? Alberto's blood pressure goes up and we are all just up in arms. Thomas, I insist there are cases where we could submit proposals that do make sense and it'll be the community who makes the decision. Nicolas Antoniello, I, this is just my own personal opinion, 500%. Jordi, we've known each other for years. I think you do a service denial attack to the BDP. But anyway, I think at, at 100, 200 percent against the proposal. And let me tell you why. I think you're making some mistakes in your justification of the proposal that I think it is important to highlight. One, when you say the bottom up approach and saying that moderators can reject a proposal just because it doesn't adjust to what moderators understand at the time that is a correct proposal or a proposal that might uh, continue on in the PDP process. I don't think that is correct at all. Moderate chairs are chosen through a bottom-up approach. LACNIC, LACNIC directors are selected through a bottom-up approach. LACNIC was founded through a bottom-up approach, and the PDP is bottom-up. It gets here through a bottom-up approach. It is discussed. It is approved through a bottom-up approach, and it's the board, the last one to approve. And even if that were not the case, if the board would be in the middle of the path, which doesn't make sense, but even if it were like that, it doesn't mean that it's wrong because it is still a bottom-up process because that's how it's defined. So we cannot argue that something that is part of the process is in breach of the process because it did not follow the process. And I've said the word process how many times already in the first place. Well, ISP2, I won't even mention that. I think it's fine what you said at the beginning, how we create an RIR, but it's just nothing else than that anyway. And then I have to agree with Arturo. I, I, and you said that fields cannot have limits and that is really wishful thinking. When we, all of us, we have all developed something at some point, it is impossible to have an unrestricted field. You, can ha you cannot have an unlimited field for whatever text. Sorry, I'm sorry. Chairs have to restrict me, not you. Uh, today is a kind of complicated day for all of us. Anyway, yeah, I will wrap up. He took a few seconds from, from me. Ariel just took a few seconds uh, from me. I agree with Arturo. We need to be more optimal when it comes to managing the time we devote to discussing things that we discuss. Okay. 
we don't have much time, so let's just take the final few questions. Ricardo Patara, I am against the proposal. I think there are two problems that the author addressed, the field limit, but this is very technical, very specific, and the author says that this is a non-compliance, but really that is not something that is mentioned in the PDP process either on how to submit the proposal, how to manage the fields. It is a technical detail. We can discuss it with LACNIC and make the adjustment. We don't need a proposal for that. So if I try to submit a proposal today, and what if a field doesn't allow me to use a character in Portuguese? Am I going to submit a proposal for that character in Portuguese to be allowed or for a character in Chinese? I don't think this proposal is not necessary, so I'm against it. I think that chairs do play uh, a, a revision role or review role just to make sure we don't waste time on things that are not appropriate. You mentioned that some proposals had been rejected. I mean, it's a good idea. We first discuss, the community discusses if the idea is good, if there is enough support or not. So we don't waste time on something that the community is not interested in. So if there's no consensus, if there's no agreement, well, I think that we should consider going back to that. Ricardo, before I turn this into a proposal, the length of the fields, I've complained many times, many, many years ago, but I did complain many times and uh, it's never been solved. I mean, I've been patient enough for years before submitting a proposal. Good morning, good afternoon, former chair of the forum voted by a broad majority, but I feel, I said that I wanted to, to, to save time. I'll try to do the same right now. I'm against the proposal. The only part I like about the proposal is the part that says that we should remove the word policy and we just use the version of the proposal. I think that's okay. I continue insisting that we should remove that word from other places, but well, I heard in a way, and this is something that I've mentioned before, the fact that we say that each chair will make their own interpretation depending on their background, where they come from, where they're going to, and so on and so forth. Well, we all know that we work very hard and the work of chairs is very much a craft, otherwise we would replace it with a robot. And we have said this many times. I always mention the same example, but many years ago in one pro well, your proposals, I had to decide whether the aggregation or disaggregation factor in a routing table was a lot or was too little to know whether some prefixes were unfolded or not and whether the impact was big or, bad or small. It was very subjective. It was very subjective. And that was associated to whether one proposal was part of the PDP. And I mean, it was something completely subjective. We are human beings, of course. We come from a particular background. We can make mistakes, but correct me if I'm wrong, but we've always had an open dialogue with the authors, with the different people that approach us, with staff, with Thomas, and I know they do the same, and everyone before them has done the same. They've always kept great communication with all parties involved. And that's why people voted for us or elected us. I not only disagree with the proposal, but I think it is a bit aggressive against the current chairs and all chairs that came before them. There's usually a lot of dialogue, yes, but only when we're here, when we are presenting proposals, when proposals are submitted or rejected because they don't comply with the PDP, dialogue stops. I even waited for six months to one year to questions that I submitted and I never got the questions. I never got the replies. I have four hours. If I look at my cell phone records, I have a four hour phone call with you. 
Right. So it's subjective, right? So I don't think that it's not the chairs who should fulfill that role, but rather the community. Pablo Fritz, I'm against unlimited fields. Anything that is unlimited or unrestricted, I'm against. If the field's small, well, it should be larger. Maybe that could be the proposal. I read few proposals, I have to admit it. And if something that is more than one paragraph long, honestly, I don't even read it. Your uh, proposal was three times as long as what I usually read. Unlimited, unrestricted fields? No. If it's too small, maybe we should add another field that it's a summary or something that maybe some people will read where you will have a longer text. Oscar Robles, Executive Director of LACNIC. You mentioned the ICP2, and I think that is not correct. ICP2 speaks about a bottom-up approach, but it doesn't establish specific criteria. There are no, I mean, such thing as absolute rights, and of course that we need to have mechanisms to filter out irrelevant proposals. With regards to what you showed about the limit, was it 4,000 characters? I don't know. I, I think that 200 people discussing that, that a proposal cannot stay under two pages, I think that's too much. I, I, I thank the, the chairs for being so patient and for my staff for being so patient for having to deal with that. And since we don't have an adequate mechanism to filter proposals, I'm sorry that so many people have to devote so much time to proposals, I think may no contribution to the development of our region. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Aristotle Bantas. Let me just say, that maybe the fact that Jordi is proposing this, a proposal that's not approved by the general meeting, but then he wants to change the entire policy because the proposal that he submitted was not successful. I don't think that the proposal should be resubmitted. I am fully against it. I am fully against Jordi's current proposal, and I want to congratulate the current chairs and the past chairs that have been, that have had to deal Jordi's proposals in the past, and, and his justifications that unfortunately or not were not approved by the general meeting. So maybe the general meeting does not follow the same line of thought the jury has and maybe that is something for you to understand what is the objective of LACNIC what is the objective of RIRs and, and, and what we do so I'm not presenting this proposal because other proposals I submitted were not approved after have submitted proposals over the course of many years on things that I think are not operating correctly and we discuss about it. But yes, as we said many times, we have the right to submit proposals. Thank you to everyone that had questions or, or, or observations. A round of applause, of course, a quick round of applause. Now we will get a feel of the room temperature to consider consensus. So remember that although Zoom says that this is a poll, we are not polling. We are just getting a feel on room temperature. And the result of that poll or survey on Zoom doesn't mean that, or in the room doesn't mean that the proposal will or not move forward. 
So here in the room, those of you who are in room, LACNIC staff will count hands and we can activate the Zoom poll as well. Please raise your hand if you are in favor of this proposal. Thank you. You might put your hand down. Raise your hand if you are against the proposal. Thank you. Now, please raise your hand, those of you who abstain from voting. Thank you. LAC 2024-1 version 1, introducing proposals on the PDP has been under discussion, uh, a week discussion on May 30th, 2024. So as of that date and up to two weeks after that, chairs will communicate, the commun will communicate to the community if the proposal has reached consensus so you can continue discussing this proposal under the policy list. Okay, so now